Hey guys, so this is episode 2 of Life is Strange. I just finished playing episode 1 and I want to play more of this game, so I'm going to start it. Out of time. What? Alright, whatever. In the previous episode of Life is Strange... Whoa! What the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. <laughs> For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey! Leave him alone! Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. Snooze. Stop being lazy. Being a superhero is dirty work. I need a shower. This t-shirt is horrifying. It looks like those chickens are in pain. All this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. What about like, that? Drink up. It's got electrolytes. Take a selfie. No smiling. Take your power seriously. Warren is blowing up my inbox now. As long as he helps me figure this out. Okay. It's a lot I of sticky notes. I can't keep my eyes open, but I know there's a scientific answer. Uh, 
time manipulation. That's is the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Check out the timetable. Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Poor thing. Yeah, that's not good. The hell is this? Just because some ass pranked a girl's shampoo bottle and her hair fell out, we have to safeguard our toiletries. So, summer camp. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. Gordon, seriously, do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like, now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. So, you haven't changed your tune one bit. The marks of Satan. Gonna change it again. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. All right. Ow! Dude, not cool. The hell is that? One quick rewind and I could stop this TP attack. Oh yeah, I forgot I can rewind time. You may want to step Alyssa, out of the way. can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. It's what I do. Now to rub this out again. All right. Showers are over here. Hey, Kate. How's it going? Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. You're a good kid, Kate. This is a little awkward. What's up, Kate? School. <sighs> That's it. That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up, and you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate, or Max. You're a real bitch. 
she's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. <laughs> God, that t shirt is horrifying. Well, I'm gonna have to erase this. I better get dressed than go get. Even if I can stop one person from watching it. It's worth it. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. <laughs> What's this? I'm good to flow. Thanks. All right. Don't know who she is. Fine, I won't disturb you. Certainly slap you one, though. Ugh, no fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up? After I find Kate's book. Sure thing, I will. The hell's the poster? Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. That's creepy. Alright. Should put a comma after the me. Where's that book? My desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. It's probably among all the books. No book here. Maybe it's not. Uh, oh, she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book, and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. All right. I need to get dressed before I go there. Get dressed. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week, and he couldn't even rewind time. Now I can okay. finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. Gee, I wonder who that could be. Oh shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. I better be doubly careful around here or I could be in serious danger. Got if I'm nice, not already. Got a nice little deer on my shirt. I just realized that the people were bullying her. I sure would like to catch this hall tagger. Drawing stuff on here. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Oh, you got a little hamster. Oh, it's a rabbit. Oh. This is here. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Postcard? Kate really has a doting father. 
That's good. It'd be even worse if she didn't have good parents. Why did she cover up the mirror? If she can't look at herself? Uh. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. What's up? Um, hey Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. Mm. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Are you sure it was just one sip? I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. All right. Did you go? Definitely not. I'm not sure where I went. What do you remember about that? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody uh. was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... Oh, it's not gonna go where I think it's going. And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So... Who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here, near my bag. That son of a bitch. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Until lately. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Ah. Uh. No, nah, because that motherfucker's got a rich family. Find some proof first. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys, and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove. 
not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. If that son of a bitch made the video, I'm gonna punch him right in his stupid nose. God damn it. Okay. Hello. What's happening, Dana? Everything cool between you and Juliet? Oh, yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Uh... Listen, I got a lot of shit going on. I just recently learned I can time travel. So... I'm pretty busy with that. No, sorry. It's just not my thing. You came to Blackwell to discover yourself, not hide in your dorm. I won't discover myself avoiding projectile vomit from bro dudes. Thanks anyway. Hmm. This is both sad and pathetic. All right. Oh. Didn't see you sitting there. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? Uh, that's not cool. That's so not cool. I didn't get wasted on camera and get busy with the Vortex Club. Kate's not like that, and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touché. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. What did you do about Victoria pulling that crap? Nothing yet. My mind works in devious ways too. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. I'm not watching the video, Max. That's good. You better not. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party.
All right. Hello. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Everything cool? You look distracted. Everything cool? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? Uh, I'll probably see him later. I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Samuel truly is a weirdo, but he is great at cleaning up. What up, Samuel? Hey, birds. Hello. The birds are flocking around Samuel. That'd make a damn good picture, you know. Hey, Samuel. You're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me, like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. <laughs> Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. My spirit animal is telling me I should ask you about the snow. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. All right. See I you so later, don't man. want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. See you, man. See you, birds. Where am I going? Also, there's... Wait, where is it? Oh yeah, there's just a totem pole over there for no reason. Cool. What's this person doing? Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. Why is everyone such a bitch? <laughs> I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk. For once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo-hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. Mm, I doubt that. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. Struck a nerve there. Don't care, though. How the hell did you get my number? Max, oh. check it out. Hi. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. No one says rap. 
Just, alright, may as well be courteous about it. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? Uh. Just a pirate I used to know. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Um, you know what, you seem like a nice kid. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Rachel! Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Hello. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. Well, good luck with that. Hello. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. Um... I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. 
Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. Having second job, that sucks. Don't know why I'm going that way. What's up, Mr. Fisherman? Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Hello. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. What's happened? Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard it has. <laughs> Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. Uh, you're weird. You did pretty good to have lasted this long. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. Uh. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. Hmm. Well, they own the school, they so... They own my school. Crooks gain respect when they put their names on schools and libraries. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Bye, sir. Have fun protecting your crotch. Okay. Wait. Wait. What's this nice gentleman up to? Hello. Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! That snow was pretty fucked up, huh? The snow was pretty odd. It was right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. Ugh. <sighs> Global warming bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. It's a strange place, Ari. This town is more like a mystery to me. You're young. You'll get over it. All right. Snow. Well, that's a good start to the story. Top-notch journalism right there. What else is around here? Hello, person. How you doing? Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. Um... I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead. Like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a Prescott. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family. Especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. Yep, they're jerks. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? Married to a real prick. Yep. Have you met Joyce's daughter? Cute girl. Pissed off. I used to see her and her pretty friend, uh, Rachel, around a lot. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. You look pretty good for a thousand year old. What changes to the town? Ones it takes a lifetime to see. 
There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness, too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work. Out of home. Like me. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. Do you know anything about Rachel Amber? That missing girl? I know she's missing. I know she hung out here a bit. Sometimes I'd see her walking, all by herself, deep in thought. Too damn young and pretty to look so worried. Did you talk to her? Once or twice she'd talk to me, about trouble in school, wanting to be some model in California. She was always distant, but nice. I pray the poor thing is all right, but you can't save everybody. I have to go now. Goodbye. Nice talking to you, lady. I'm sure you smell delightful. That is disgusting. Oh, it's a dog! Can I go around and talk to that guy? Oh, you a nice dog? Uh, stop that! Stop! No barking. I just want to pet There's you. There's something creepy about that guy and his dog. Feed you some jerky. Nope. Okay. Uh, let's go inside this place at last. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware. Makes me feel 13 again. <laughs>